Holy Shazbot, I haven't recorded anything in a year. How does this work again? Oh, right, like this. Hello, my identity is highly irrelevant. I'm not going to make excuses. Well, the crap has been going on for the past year, I just haven't felt like recording any videos. However, a window of opportunity has opened up in the last couple of weeks, and so I am going to take, take advantage of it, and you're going to get a game. It's going to be a fairly short game and a rather old game, but still a good game, at least in my opinion. That's what matters. Which means that you're well inclined to disagree. The new game is. Wait for it. Fancy spinning logo coming out of the darkness. Is. Actraiser! Released back in 1991 as a launch title for the Super Nintendo by Enix before they bought out Square and become the corporate conglomeration they are today. You know, this is a home favorite of mine, so I'm going to go ahead and give this a try for their commentary let's play. So, new game, start. Fancy Lego, go away. And the first decision we have to make is to give you a name. Now, this is a bit of a, uh, this is an issue back in the day. This is the limit of what they would allow, but in this game, you play the role of God. Well, not the God, but a God. Therefore, this name you have to enter is the name of God. The name that the whole world of worshippers will know you as. I have a big decision. What should we enter? It should be a good name. Worse, we want our God to be an awesome God, so... Hmm. A-W-S-M The New Tetragrammaton, the ineffable name of God. Yeah, awesome. You are the angel sent to recover his vital strength. All kinds of monsters in total control of the earth. That's bad. We have it because of a demon named Tanzra. Well, in the Japanese version, they don't beat around the bush about this either. He's Satan! Yeah, the ultimate evil! Mm-hmm. To restore your power, you will need to rekindle the people's faith in you, because the god is nothing about faith. Otherwise, no faith, they disappear in the public logic. First, we have to go down and kill some monsters. Before that, I'm going to set the message speed too fast, because slow text annoys me. Okay, now. Destroy all monsters in this land, people will live here again. Alright, let's do this. And we go into a very slow spiral to the ground, which was a very technical, very fancy technical demonstration back in 1991, but it is now just laughable by today's standards. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Enter the Avatar of God. He possesses a statue. He can hop. He can chop. He can do both at once sometimes. So kill some monsters. Chop. You hop. And stuff dies. One hit. Three easy. Okay. Four. Four. Up. And up there is an angel statue. We hit them with a sword. We get stuff. In this case, we've got a thousand points. Points are kind of important. I will go over it in the second episode more extensively why points are important. Now, where are you killing stuff? You. What? Well, the evil tree. We can hop and chop. And he's dead. Yes. Platform. Up. Bad monkey. Bad monkey thing. Ow, he hit me. And yes, the Avatar of God can actually die, but, you know, all it does is really kick you out. In fact, you run out and you have to start over from their life. And if you run out of lives, then you have to start the stage over from the very beginning. But I'm not that bad at platforming. Not that great at it either, so I'm not really going to need all those lives. Actually, you're really only supposed to start with three lives, but I'm cheating. For points, you'll see why. I'm not really needing the 10 lives this stage, but I only need one. Even the hardest stages are probably only lose two or three, but yeah. Rambling. Riding on a tree. One thing in the stage isn't trying to kill you. Like a monkey thing you just hit me. Ow. And we have spikes. Spikes are bad, don't touch them. Ow. Ow. Stop it. Yeah. I'm not good at platforming. Nope. Up here. This is a another life apple. You kill the life. The bug. And we're going to jump down here. Amy life gauge means it's boss time. So this is the centaur knight. The first boss is an easy boss. Easy way to beat him, stay off the grass. And hit him. And avoid the lightning. Hit some more, run away. Duck the lance. Hit some more. 
easy pattern. And he charges at you or he shoots lightning out of the lance. It's easy to easily telegraph moves, easy to avoid. Yeah, you shouldn't even get hit with this one. Lightning. Do some more, you're gone. You win! Boss victory! And at the end of the stage, you get 10 points for every second on the clock, and 1,000 points for every life you had left. Again, points are important. I will go into the next episode. He possessed the statue back to Sky Palace. And the other part of the game, which is the simulation mode, which is which made this one unique and in my opinion much better than the sequel, which is entirely action. And people are made of lightning going to this temple. They are the first two people in this new land, and you can land and they live in peace and we have to defend these people from monsters, which we will be doing in the next episode, where it will basically be a tutorial episode, which I will explain what this is all about here. I will see you next time. I make good guarantees of when next time will be, but it should be soon.